Feast your eyes on one of the most beloved vegetables in America, broccoli. Wait, what? That can't be right. Everyone hates broccoli. Or do they? If you look at recent surveys, broccoli has found a nice comfy spot on America's dinner plates. Maybe it's because people have figured out how to properly prepare it and couple it with complementary flavors in a meal. Farmers have also become experts at growing broccoli, harvesting it, and getting it into consumers' hands quickly. This stuff is picked and harvested and into the stores within 24 hours. So which is great for the stores because they're not throwing near the amount of stuff away. It's coming in fresh, it's not three or four days old. This is Northern Ridge Berry Farms. They definitely grow berries, but they also produce loads of other fresh ingredients too, including broccoli. We start planting our broccoli the 1st of March. We go in the greenhouse and we plant two to 3,000 every week. And then we start putting it in the 1st of April. Two years ago, we got some real hard frost on early plants in April. And I thought, man, we just lost 10,000 broccoli plants. It didn't seem to bother them. So once we start planting the 1st of April, we'll plant every week two to 3,000 plants every week, and hopefully they'll be staged out so when the orders start coming in, we can keep them full. David sells his broccoli and other produce to local grocery stores, restaurants, and right here on the farm. It's a family operation. Three generations have farmed on this land. It's just part of life for David's daughters. Um, probably started around I was 10 or so, and then nonstop since. Harvesting the main head on the broccoli plant is easy. The best way to harvest it is just take a knife and make a nice clean cut. You can extend the harvest season by leaving the plants in the garden after the main head is taken. A lot of people I've talked to will cut the head off and then they pull the plant thinking it's done. It's not. The plant's object is to create seed for its offspring for next year, so it's going to do whatever it can to produce more seed. And broccoli is great at that. They'll start throwing off shoots, and they're little florets. And the early florets can get about this big, and the more you pick them, the smaller they'll get, and then all of a sudden they get too small, you don't even want to bother with it. And those tree-looking flower buds on the head of broccoli? Well, if you let them go to seed, they'll flower in a big way. Working in the warmth and sunshine is a huge bonus for everyone who works at Northern Ridge. But harvesting this much broccoli does take commitment. This is a little bit more labor intensive because you have to plan everything, you have to keep track of how it's growing. Some stuff might not be ready the morning and then later that afternoon you go out and check it and it'll be ready. Northern Ridge Berry Farm is doing its part to keep broccoli's reputation strong, one harvest day at a time. It's just a proud feeling that people want to buy our stuff. You know, it makes me feel like I'm doing something right and something the community wants. <laughs>